Hey, hello? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I heard you need cleaning service. Looks like it's sweeping time. Oh, you need something swept up? Oh, okay. Don't worry about it. USA sweep, baby. Let's go. Bust the brooms out. What is going on, y'all? Welcome back to MJP TV, where we put track and field first. And day two, what a day. Um, the men's 100 meter final. So the USA came in uh, with some of the top times in the world. Many people doubted it would happen, but the USA got a clean sweep in the men's 100 meters. Of course, Fred Curley coming out with an amazing victory. Many people might be surprised by the time, but this championship really isn't about the time. Just the fact of getting the win and Fred Curley coming down from the 400 last year, really proving people wrong, getting the silver medal at the Olympics and backdooring that with a gold medal at the World Championships. Fred Curley, he is cemented now as one of the best 100 meter sprinters the world has seen. Um, incredible, like him and Marvin Brace. Let's just talk about the race real quick. They're, they're, oh my goodness, them, Trayvon, man, it was, it was amazing. I, I can barely get my thoughts together. But uh, Marvin got out, uh, Fred was trailing right behind him, um, and Fred stayed composed because he was behind for like the first 90 meters. He caught up to Marv, and Marv just tightened up a little bit in the last five meters and leaned slightly early. Fred stayed composed, leaned, and won by two hundredths of a second. I mean, this this was a great final. Of course, I am biased. I am an American. I was hoping to see the sweep. Hats off to all the other finalists, though. Bleak Seville, young guy coming out of Jamaica, had an awesome world championships in the 100. Expect big things from him in the future. Let's see Lee Tobogo running a world junior record, 994. Cements what we already knew. He's the fastest teenager in the 100 meters the world has ever seen. Um, shout out to, you know, friend of the show, Aaron Brown, you know, making the final again for Canada. And Akeem Sonny Brown making it for Jamaica. Akeem Sonny Brown making it for Jamaica. Uh, Connie Sambini, I didn't have him in the final, but he, look, he did it again. So, uh, shout out to Christian Coleman too, uh, making a final after being, you know, out of the sport for two years with a suspension. Had a hell of a season. But this is about Fred Curley. Um, there really isn't much more to say. Like... He proved all of his doubters wrong. I mean, I doubted him when he first started. Y'all can go back and look at my takes. When he came down from the four to the one, no one believed that he could do something like this. So the fact that Fred Curley has done it now is just incredible. And Trayvon Bramell had such an emotional moment too. You can see it, man, the emotion that came over him when he was taking that victory lap for getting third. Simply incredible. You know, Trayvon, people people have been doubting him. He he hasn't had the championships he's wanted. He has a global title in the 60, but to come back and get a bronze in the 100 meters and be within two hundredths of being the world champion, I mean, that is simply incredible for Trayvon. And hats off to Marvin Bracey. Man, I did not have Marvin getting second. I had him as potentially third or fourth. Marvin blew my expectations out of the water. To, to run the race of his life, and he's only 200 short of a world title. Marvin Bracey, hats off to you, man. Incredible. So, y'all can take all the predictions you had, throw them in the bin. USA, one, two, three. There's, there's not much else to say. Incredible day. Such an amazing moment, and I can't wait to see more. These world championships have been great. Uh, the attendance is looking good. Shout out to, you know, Shannon Sharp and all the other celebrities who are showing track and field some love. We really do appreciate it. But uh, that's going to be it for me. Uh, appreciate y'all for tuning in. Make sure to leave what you thought about this race in the comments below. If you haven't already, make sure you do subscribe to MJP TV as well. Uh, we've been growing. Thank you guys for helping me hit 4,000 subscribers. Y'all take care. God bless.